Hey guys, this time I'm at Huntington Dog Beach. It's uh, December of 2021. We're in the winter time, so I expect the bite to be a little bit slow. Um, there are some bigger fish that typically hunt these waters during the winter, so uh, wish me luck. Well, there's lots of dogs, a uh, good amount of surfers out here. Uh, in the past, I've fished out here and the dogs are very curious if you bring good sized fish up onto the beach and that could be a big problem so hopefully if that happens these people have their dogs under control and we don't have any mishaps I'm gonna start off today with a Lucky Craft 110 MS anchovy it's my new favorite bait uh, I've caught a few fish on it but uh, what does not eat anchovy? Pretty sure everything out here eats anchovy. So I'm gonna throw this around for a little while and see what happens. If the uh, bite's real slow, I may end up going back to the truck and getting my sea rig and throwing a uh, sandworm around. Uh, the sandworm usually produces more fish for me the Lucky Craft, not so much, but the quality of fish increases when we're using these jerk baits. The conditions are beautiful out here. Very small waves. We're on an incoming tide. High tide is about an hour and a half from now. I like to fish the incoming tide and the outgoing tide, typically. I mean, every beach is different. Every situation is a little different. Sometimes Incoming tides not the best, but uh, it's my favorite. That's what I typically shoot for. Here we go, cast number one. Got a little eel grass. Got a couple of clams stuck to the hook. So I'm dragging it through the sand and picking those up. Now what I'm trying to do is cover as much water as possible. I'll pick a spot, I'll fan cast it out a little bit. And then uh, if I'm not getting a hit, I'm going to keep walking down the beach. I'm looking for changes in uh, the way the waves are breaking, looking for structure. I like a steady retrieve typically what I'm doing occasionally I will jerk the jerk bait and that'll give it some erratic action and sometimes trigger a bite that does become exhausting after a while though lots of shells now sometimes these treble hooks will pick up a lot of debris shells, eelgrass, seaweed, trash. And if it's just too much, then uh, switching to the sea rig is a good idea. It gets hung up a whole lot less. On. Taking lots of drag, lots of drag. Oh yeah, come on! Big fish, big fish. Big fish. Come on. Big fish. Come on. Big fish, yeah! Big fish, woo! Spot 
Captain Croker. Big spot in, yeah! Woo! <laughs> Look at that sucker! Woo! I just caught the biggest spot fin croaker of my life. Just about 22 inches. And he doesn't look happy. I just caught the biggest spot fin croaker of my life. And since I'm such a good guy, I'm gonna release it. That is a big fish. Let's go let him go. Missed another one. So here we are at Bolsa Chica. So I walked north from the dog beach, ended up here at the jetty, and it is full of water. So full. Definitely a high tide right now. I got bit again. I got bit again. One more tap. Maybe one more. Definitely takes the uh, the warmth right out of my head, man. Jeez. All right, one more cast. Oh, pelican. Well, that's it for me today. Only one fish, but it was one heck of a fish. Uh, my personal best spotted spot fin croaker. So I uh, had a great time. Can't wait to get back out here. I hope to see you guys out on the water. Isn't that somebody else's tagline? I don't know. I think it's Benji Kim. <laughs> Benji Kim, if that's your tagline, sorry, man. I'm going to keep saying it. <laughs> Till next time. <laughs>